Hello everybody, it's me, Mystic Bover again, and today I want to talk about something I don't really understand. Uh, today I want to talk about St. Patrick's Day. Uh, the whole concept to me seems really weird, and it, it kind of appears to be a day when everybody decides to pretend like they are Irish. And I don't get it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, I, I was at a, a party at my university yesterday, and as it is the socially appropriate behavior, as I was guaranteed by my girlfriend. But the whole party and the experience was just really weird. Uh, at this party, everyone, and I mean really everyone, was pretending to be Irish. Even the non-Irish people, like the German students, the English, the French, the Canadians, the French Canadians, the Americans especially, the Indians, the Chinese, the Filipinos, the Mexicans. I mean, they were all pretending to be Irish. The whole concept is really weird, and it's just kind of an awkward party, really. I don't understand why everyone decides to pretend like they're Irish on this day. I mean, what did the Irish do that's so special? Something else I don't understand is why everybody's wearing green. When I think of Ireland, I don't really think of green, I, I, I think of orange. So why wear green? I feel like orange would be a more appropriate color to wear. I, I don't think we have anything like this in Switzerland, where I'm from. I, I don't think I would ever pretend to be someone someone else or from somewhere else. I'm actually pretty happy that I'm not someone else. I imagine if I was German or French, or imagine the French had the day when they all pretend to be Germans. It, it would be like the Second World War over again. I think the whole thing would be a very, very strange uh, thing for, 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 for them. I, I don't really think anybody would do that, and especially not in Europe at least. I mean, we certainly do this St. Patrick's Day thing in Switzerland I and mean, be a bit crazy. And talking of different countries, uh, I'm currently also le learning Spanish in school. It's really cool. I like Spanish a lot. Uh, I can say some basic sentences like, Hola, yo hablo español muy bien. Uh, yo soy suizo y yo tengo 22 años. Yes, uh, so I, I, I learned some basics to, to do some small talk with, with people. But uh, yeah, I think it will come in very handy when I, when I go to California in the summer. Uh, and I have some friends there in, in San Fran and in Los Angeles. And I think I will visit them over the summer and hope to practice my Spanish with them and the locals that I meet there. And I think the whole thing would be a very cool uh, thing to do. Water. So just as a little heads up to the video, I'm uh, overplaying this audio too. The game I'm playing in the background is called Braid. Uh, it came out a couple of years ago and it was really one of the, uh, the, the primary or the first uh, games that were developed by indie developers and became really successful and it paved the way for other games like uh, like uh, Super Meat Boy and, and Fez and all, all those games like that. And essentially, you, you, it's, it's very basic, it's a jump and run and there is a story and everything and I'm sure you can go on Steam and sh check it out and download it and play it. But essentially, you run around and you jump and you have to kind of solve puzzles because you can also, with, with the shift button, you can rewind time. So instead of just like getting punished for, for dying, you press shift and you rewind and sometimes you have to use this excuse me, to, uh, to, to like solve a, a riddle in how to get the puzzle pieces. I'm sure you've seen, seen some example uh, from the gameplay that, you, that I've overlaid here. So yes, I think this is my episode for today. Um, remember to comment, thumbs up and subscribe. And also share this with all your friends. Tell everybody about me and give me any suggestions for videos you would like me to see or things you would, you would like to know from me or what, what, what would interest you and I'll make sure to see you next time. Your Mystic Beaver.